Well, today's uh, Bigfoot Field Research Organization report takes us to North Florida and um, kind of an interesting location. I'll show you in a moment. Um, interesting for a few reasons. One, one of them is because there's actually been several reports on the site from the same area and uh, found that interesting. We're just focusing on this one. It's very simple. Uh, observed a large blackish brown figure walked out from behind a clump of trees along the eastbound side of the I-10. Uh, it stepped out from behind bushes, looked at traffic, then ducked back down into the woods. Um, you know, what's interesting is, is I've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of sightings involve people catching a glimpse of a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch just watching traffic, just um, watching the machines working in a, uh, a logging camp, just sitting and, and watching like they're curious, you know. Um, and apparently this one was just kind of looking at the cars driving by and this guy drive by and saw him. So that's, that's interesting. Um, incidentally, this is report number two, six, oh, I'm sorry, two, eight, six, three, four. And, uh, I guess the guy positively identified what it was. Um, an update here. I have a sighting in the same area on the eastbound lane of I-10. I have submitted a detailed report. Uh, this is uh, the report he's referring to is 63433, if you want to look it up. Uh, and I have discussed with one of your researchers, this creature matches somewhat the published reports of the same area, that being near the Crestview exit. Uh, what I saw was impossible to fake with a costume. The creature was approximately eight feet tall, had obviously articulated muscles as it moved from the edge of the road, uh, down a gully into the tree line of the movement, per, uh, particularly down a steep slope and up the other side would make it almost impossible for a human in a suit to accomplish. Uh, there was an additional car with witnesses. I do not wish to have my identity published. So I'm a current state government official um, with pastime and law enforcement agency. I'm available to discuss uh, further in confidence. I'm not going to read the follow-up, but you get the idea. So... We have the I-10, we have the Crestview exit there. Um, what strikes me about this area, you know, we got a, a river water management area. You got a park down there. You got a park here, you got a park here, you got a park there. There are literally protected areas everywhere. Now, normally when I see a built up area, I'm thinking, okay, this probably is a hoax, probably not, not a thing, but you got a national forest and you got parks and you got stuff everywhere. Plus, which I thought was interesting, over here, you have an old Spanish fort. Of course, as you know, Florida was a Spanish colony. Um, and that's interesting. That's interesting. I wonder if that's the one that I've been to. I've actually visited a couple things down there years and years ago. Um, but yeah, it's a very interesting area. It's, it's, I'd consider it to be kind of a high human population, but conversely, it's got a ton of parks and there is a lot of land down here. A closer look at the Crestview exit. Um, Oh, you got a zoo over there. Oh, go figure. A lot of neighborhoods and a lot of woods as well. So I, I don't know. I don't know if this is uh, if this is legit or not. I, I'm thinking it probably is. In spite of the high population of people, which they generally stay away from, um, only because if somebody's going to make up a hoax about a Bigfoot story, they're, they're usually more elaborate and they have lots of details in them. And this one um, was literally <laughs> one paragraph. Here's what I observed. I was driving down the road and it was there. 
looked at traffic, and then ducked into the woods. I mean, you know, that's okay. So there's that. <coughs> I think it's very interesting. Stuff like this is interesting because it's the same MO. And, you know, when thousands and thousands of people report the exact same MO from a creature in different parts of the country, you got to kind of think to yourself, huh, uh, okay, you know, same behavior pro uh, patterns, same, um, you know, proclivities and same things that it does every time. You know, people that have never met, see something for the first time, find a website like this, they're like, hey, I noticed the same thing. You got to wonder. Anyway, um, so here's the exit and uh, completely surrounded by parks everywhere. And that, that's kind of, you know, hmm, you got to wonder. Let me know what you think. If you think this is uh, a guy making it up or if you think that it's not, I mean, you know, there, there's a lot of land out here. A lot of land. So, there's that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate ya. Again, this is report uh, 28634 on a BFRO.net uh, website. So, thanks for watching. And, um, and I'm out. That's what I got. It, it would appear you have reached the end of this video. Well, I want to thank you fellers for watching things that way. And uh, if you could uh, go ahead and, you know, share and like and subscribe and all, all that YouTuber nonsense that they say on the interwebs, what, what they, they they do there, uh, that'd, be, that'd be nice. Uh, Y'all have, have a nice day. <laughs>